It was a charged atmosphere at the Ashanti Regional Office of the National Democratic Congress amidst heavy police deployment as parliamentary aspirants from the Aswansi constituency take their turn in the ongoing vetting. The incumbent member of parliament for Aswansi, Muntaka Mubarak, and his contender, Masaudu Mubarak, have successfully gone through the process and were given their positions on the yet-to-be-printed ballot for the primaries. Supporters of both aspirants thronged the vetting center amidst chance in a contest that is attracting a lot of attention in the Ashanti region. We are tired. Honorable Muntaka, we won't discredit him. Whatever he can do, he might have finished it. In everything, there is a time to start and there is time to finish. All of us are delegates in Aswasu constituency and the incumbent MP Honorable Muntaka Mubarak deserve another term. The incumbent Muntaka Mubarak, after the vetting, told journalists that the support he received from party members is an endorsement to retain the seats. All of us are delegates in Aswasu constituency and the incumbent MP Honorable Muntaka Mubarak deserve another term. The incumbent Muntaka Mubarak, after the vetting, told journalists that the support he received from party members is an endorsement to retain the seats. I know that it's a journey of trying to rebuild Aswansi, to make Aswansi the envy of the whole country. We are in the, on the run, we are on, on the move. Everybody who attests the fact Aswansi is an envy of Asante but we want it to be the envy of the whole country. Are you deterred? Why? Why, why will I? Why will I? I mean, if you know my, my, the, the journey I have gone through, even my personal life, I have fallen several times and I have woken up several times. Masaudu Mubarak, on the other hand, insists he is the right person to represent the Aswansi constituency. We haven't had much in terms of human development or um, um, pro, uh, pro, uh, progress. So inshallah, when they say change, they mean progress for the people of the constituency. When they say change, they mean an Asawasi MP who would be corruption free. When they say change, they want an MP who would fight for the interest of Ghanaians. In the Edwasa Chidumasi constituency, four persons, including the former constituency chairman, are contesting the incumbent MP. They are preaching skirt and blouse. This type of pronouncements, we met it in 2012, and we don't want to meet it anymore. The Edra MP, Mohamed Bawa Brema, is confident of winning the contest. None of them is a threat. I tell you, we have 1,470 uh, something delegates. I show you, I'm not going to cringe less than 1,000. I give you the money. The Kumeu constituency seat is now vacant following the demise of the sitting member of parliament. The NDC aspirant who is going unopposed is hopeful his party will capture the seat from the MPP. But we were prepared a year ago because we have taken that seat very seriously. We need to take that seat back for NDC. The vetting committee summed up its report after the process. We received five petitions so far uh, during the vetting. We vetted 25 aspirants on the one, 35 on the two, and 25 on day three. In all, we vetted 85 candidates. We had 71 males and 14 females. So the female percentage is 16%. And I think that is an increase from what we had in 2020. So we want to say kudos to our female comrades. The aspirants have returned to their various constituencies to begin active campaigning. Now the party says it will soon decide on when to hold vetting for the remaining 11 constituencies in the Ashanti region. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumase, Ashanti region.